How is everyone doing? And welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. Now, you might want to go on my website a few times a week because I might be giving out a few hidden gems that can help you to win your DFS contest each week and also help you dominate your fantasy leagues. So y'all ready? And welcome back to the Stab Room, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for following me on this continued DFS journey. And this is the result from last video's five studs. And as you can see, Lowry did 36, Murray did 43, Mann did 27, Davis did 58, and Bowl Bowl did 46. So now I'm going to get into breaking down this upcoming slate. All right, guys, so now we're going to break down this 10-game slate. And remember, guys, in the stat room on 10 game slates, we do not gamble on unlimited entry GPPs. We play more conservative because remember, it's a long season and this is like the stock market. So we want to make sure that our stock stays up. So we want to play more 10 man contests that we create and more head to head contests. And we play the GPPs when the slates have five games or less. And so that's how we do it in the stat room. And remember, you want to just find three games you like, select your players and roll with the punches. So now let's break down the center position. So tonight you got Joel Embiid, who was a game time decision. So check back to see if he's going to play. Jokic is in a smash spot today where he should be able to get you 60 fantasy points. And remember, you want a player that can get you five times what he cost. And when you take down big tournaments, you're getting 6x value. Davis is the only center over $10,000 that I would consider because he has the best opportunity to get 60 fantasy points. In my opinion, I believe he can match Jokic and he's a little bit less. It's only $300 less, but I think he's in a better matchup because Denver could actually blow Houston out. And I think that Indiana will keep it close with the Lakers. Siakam's a game time decision. So check back to see if he is going to play. Sabonis is in a matchup where he will not be able to play bully ball against Aiton. Aiton and him should go back and forth. And I think both players will end up with around 35 fantasy points. Towns is in a great matchup. But Towns is so helter-skelter. And when you're playing 10-man contests, you don't need to gamble. You can't gamble on guys that are at this price point. So you want to go and play some lesser tier guys and don't gamble on Towns. Porzingis, another player at 8-3. I don't like him against the Twin Towers. He only does well when teams don't have the seven-foot centers. A-10, like I just mentioned, will go back and forth. And I believe he gets about 35 fantasy points. Turner... I don't know if he's going to be physical enough to go against to, to go against Davis. Vucevic is my favorite center. I think he might be too physical and he is now shooting three point shot. So I believe he is going to be the one center that can get a six or seven X value. Mobley is on the second night of a back to back. So I will not roster big men on second nights of back to backs. I just don't like to do that. Sagum actually won me my, my 10 man contest on Saturday with 66 fantasy points. Gobert, I already mentioned, with him against Washington, this is the game where if you wanted to gamble on Gobert, you can because he's only 7,000. He's going to be around the rim. The Wizards shoot a lot of jump shots, which means there's going to be a lot of missed shots. So he should be able to get 16 rebounds and about 12 points. Carter, I believe they're going to trade him soon because he cannot do what Bol Bol can do. He gets rebounds, but he doesn't block shots and he does he does not shoot the ball as well as Bowl Bowl. So I believe he will be on the trade block soon. Allen is out. So we go right to Bowl Bowl. And I just mentioned how I feel about Bowl Bowl. Don't really like Washington. Capella is a game time decision. He had dental work done to his teeth. Gordon, love him in this matchup at 6,000. I believe Gordon goes for 40. Don't like Bouchier in this matchup. Claxton on the fence with him. If they would give Valachunas the ball, Valachunas has the best slot. He has the best position on this entire slate. If they would give him the ball, he could get 40 fantasy points if they gave him 12 shot attempts because he's going to get about seven or eight rebounds, but they just don't give him the ball. 
Plumley, love him against Boston. I think he can get 30 fantasy points. Collins is coming off of a 45-point performance. Don't think he can duplicate that again tonight. Traveling to Philly on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Horford, I believe he'll have a rest day because at his age, Tatum comes back. I believe Tatum plays and Horford sits. Reed is coming off of another pretty productive game. Going home, playing against another young center. He should be able to do decent as well. And Olenek, like I said, if he can make that three-point shot, it will be difficult for Vucevic. Bamba, it's a game-time decision. Smith, I don't like. Don't like this guy from Oklahoma City. Harrell, second night of a back-to-back. -back. He's in a good matchup, though. Don't like Jordan. Achua is out. Fernando's a game-time decision. Akunwu might have the best value. I like him against Harrell at 4-4. I believe that he will do well if Capella is out again. Richards, the backup center, I say he gets about 18 fantasy points. Earl was also in my winning line of guys. He gave me 20-plus, helped me to win. Bryant did well, but Davis is back, so don't roster Bryant. And that's it, guys. You want to win your fantasy? Start these players. If you made it this far, hit that like button, hit that share button, and subscribe to my channel. You want to win your fantasy? Start point guard Milton. You want to know why? Well, he's on 35 point watch and he's in an excellent matchup going against Trey Young. You want to win your fantasy? Start point guard Milton. You want to win your fantasy? Start shooting guard Mary. You want to know why? Well, he is on 40 point watch. When this young man was healthy, he was able to get 40 almost every night. Now he is finally healthy. He has his whole team back healthy. So if you want to win your fantasy, start shooting guard Mary. You want to win your fantasy? You better start small forward Harris. You want to know why? Well, his price has dropped all the way down to under $7,000. He's going to be in a competitive game and both of these teams on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. So you want to win your fantasy? Start small forward Harris. You want to win your fantasy? You better start power forward Gordon. You want to know why? Well, he's on 40 point watch and he's going to get you a double double and he's playing against the young top pick from Houston and he's going to want to show the young pup how it's done. So you want to win your fantasy? Start power forward Gordon. You want to win your fantasy? Start center Vucevic. You want to know why? He's on 40 point watch and he is a double double machine. And in this matchup, he should easily get 40. So if you want to win your fantasy, start Vucevic. And my word for today is system. I believe that most successful people have a system to being successful, a system to how they do things and they stick with the system, good, bad or ugly. In DFS, I have a system and I stick with my system. When I don't stick with my system is when I struggle. But when I stick with my system, as long as there are no injuries and blowouts, I do well the majority of the time. Just like in life, I have a system where me, I'm not a morning person. So my system is let me do all my meal prep the night before, put everything in a bag and I do everything in a system. I get up, take my shower, do my stretching, grab my food and then I go. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be successful in life, develop your system. Love you guys.